everybody, it's Mama J. And Spectre. We are here with the Ferrera box. It's always a running joke. I always want to know if my Ferrera box is here. Just like he always wants to know if his Nick box is here. Which I did just pay for. Is it here yet? Not till December. But I'm sure he'll ask me 50 more times. But we got the Ferrera box, which um, I believe this one is Disney themed. Um, I love these boxes, so I always wait for these boxes. <laughs> these are probably my favorite box that we get that has, you know, like a mystery box that has different kinds of merchandise in it, not just pops. So let's go ahead and open this box and see what we got. <laughs> Okay, um, before we go any further, I don't want to forget, we got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. It is from Ash Cheeks. So, all I can say is, now all you guys out there, don't be jealous. She sent me the jumbo sticker signed. Awesome. Very big. Biggest sticker we have. Very big. Very, very big. So. And then she sent you one too, Spectre. Okay. There you go. Tiny sticker. Um, and then we also got the medium one. So, uh, we got all three. Uh, if you have not watched Ash Cheeks, Ash Cheeks, you should go watch, um, her. She does great videos. She's a huge Rick and Morty fan. I don't know much about Rick and Morty, but he does. Um, I know that Pickle Rick is like her best friend. <laughs> so um, anyways, I just wanted to tell her thank you very much for the autographed sticker and then the other two stickers that will go with our sticker collection. Okay? All right, so... Got brown paper. Lots of brown paper. That's part of your uh, thing. <laughs> That's part of my thing. Okay, uh, you want to go first? Reach in and grab something? It's your box. Okay. Um, I'll go with the little... Uh-oh, it's popped open. I got Jasmine from um, Aladdin Little Pocket Pop. That's cool. That's very cute. We don't collect Pocket Pops, but it is still really cute, Jasmine. That's cool. We have a Woody. Oh, we got Woody. Big pin. So that's really cool. Here, I'll take it out of the plastic. That will definitely go in our collection just because it's Woody. <laughs> so we have four big pins now? A Mickey, a Minnie, a Woody. And my Sasuke. Yes. All right. Oh, look at there. We got another big pin. Another big pin? Yeah, we got um, Duke. Duke. Kaboom. Yeah, kaboom. It's um, from the new Toy Story. It's at the bottom. So, he's another big pin. A lot bigger than Woody, though. Yeah, he is a lot bigger than Woody. I think he's... Yeah, he's a lot bigger than Woody. Like Almost twice. Well, the box is a lot bigger than Woody. But that's cool. Yeah, very cool. So that's cool. All right. And we have a, oh, a rock, rock candy. candy, and this is Tiana. Tiana from Ralph Breaks the Internet. So obviously, those that know know I collect rock candies, and I do not have Tiana. I don't. She believe. was the one from Princess in the Frog. Yes. So I do not have Tiana, so she will go in my collection because I do collect all the female rock candies. <laughs> and I will say again. Uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, their whole redesign of all the Disney princesses, amazing. And the last item in the box is Combat Carl Jr. Like a G.I. Joe knockoff. Yep. Well, remember, Combat Carl was the one that the little bad kid next door... Sid. Is that his name? Sid. Sid. Yeah. Not Sin. Sid. Um... He became a trash man. <laughs> he did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Toy Story 3. He's a yeah. trash man. So that's actually really cool. Um, 
I don't believe we have any Toy Story Pops because we weren't collecting the Toy Story Pops. Yeah. But uh, the fig pins, you know, definitely we'll collect those. But we probably will not collect the Toy Story Pops. It's kind of cool, though. But she will go in my rock candy collection. So that's um not bad. I mean, for this price of this box, this you get your value. Because we know fig pins run probably 10 and $15 for those easily maybe like eight if you're gonna want to sale yeah maybe and i know that this one is an older one i think so i think that you can find her for like five dollars but either way that's still five dollars and i'm not really sure what this pop is valued at while you look that up i do want to make a point that this is a fig pin mini this is a regular fig pin the pins are technically almost the same size just the box is different yeah, I noticed that too when I held them up. That the, the yeah. pins are really close in size, but, but the, the boxes, boxes are, different, are majorly but I'm different. I'm sure there's a price difference between a mini and a regular. Yes, I'm sure there is too. Okay, so Combat Carl is worth six dollars. So even if we went six, five, fifteen, let's, let's say fifteen and twelve, because he's a mini. And those are like five bucks. Yep. And I only paid like I think twenty five dollars shipped with this box. So I definitely get my value in this box, and I really like this box because most of the stuff we get, even if it's not all stuff we collect, it's all really good stuff. You know, I mean, everybody loves Toy Story. We love Toy Story. We just don't collect Toy Story. Yeah. You know, um, well, that's not true. I do have a plastic container in the attic full of original Buzz Lightyear's and Woody's that he had when he was just little. So <laughs> we collect those ones. But other than that, um, these are great. Yeah. So we will... See you guys next time. I can't wait till my next box comes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell.